Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making nachos, and things you need to make nachos are a plate, some cheese, some salsa, a spoon, either or cheese graters, you could use a regular cheese grater or one of these cheese graters, and you're going to need a bowl to put your cheese in, and I'm not sure if I should have the cutting board, but the cutting board's just to make sure you don't get any of the cheese on. So, first thing we're gonna do is make the cheese. I think I'm gonna use this one because it is really fast. Oh, <laughs> what just happened? I'll get this back on. This should be easy. And then we just flip it. Okay, actually have to take it out this time. And flip it back on it. And then just I am not sure what is happening right now, but, okay. So, what you're going to want to do is you're actually going to need one more thing, a knife. I'm going to use a butter knife, but if you're using a spin cheese grater, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the size of a spin. This is good. And that's loud. And you're gonna wanna cut just a teensy tiny bit. Maybe the size if you have the cheese that you put on sandwiches, like the just orange cheese, you get at your grocery store. Then you might use that cheese. The just no not you might not use that cheese, but that size. Just the size of this. Then you're gonna yeah. bip. That's a bit big. Yeah, we can get it. We can get it. We got it. Okay, so now you're gonna need your bowl. Got this. You got this. I think we'll just use a regular cheese grater. I don't know what just happened. I honestly don't know what just happened. He's stuck now. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'll get my mom to get that in a minute. Oh my god, the cheese stuck. But now you're gonna need your cutting board. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna use the side with the big ones. Get your container. And then just shave. Like this. Pretty easy. This is Megan Nachos part one. Watch part two for more instructions.